Natural Selection by kscience.com. One of the most famous examples of natural selection was seen in peppered moths in and around the Industrial Revolution in the United Kingdom. Within the same species of moth, they had variation. Some were black peppered moths and some were white peppered moths. So they showed a difference in characteristics, which is variation. A difference in their characteristics is variation. So the white peppered moths had the beneficial variation because they could camouflage on the lighter colored trees. Whereas the black peppered moths could not camouflage as well. So if you were a bird, you'd come along and you would notice the black peppered moths first and those are the ones you would eat. Whereas the white peppered moths would be able to camouflage and survive. So this would lead to a reduction in number of the black peppered moths as the birds would eat those first, which would allow the white peppered moths to survive, breed, and pass on their beneficial variation to their offspring. In this case, it is the color white. So the offspring will have a bigger chance of surviving. For a long time, the white peppered moths were able to survive and breed and pass on their beneficial alleles. This was until the Industrial Revolution where factories started burning coal to power the factories and this led to a lot of soot and smoke being released into the atmosphere which covered the trees and made the trees darker in colour. When writing about natural selection you must use the correct language. So we always start off with talking about the genetic variation within the organisms. In this case the peppered moths are either going to be black or white moths. So that is the difference in the characteristics. Then you talk about the environment change. In this case, the leaves became darker. So let's recap. You always start off with a variation, black and white peppered moths. Then you mention the environment change. In this case, the environment change is that the leaves became darker. Now you must explain why the genetic variation is beneficial to the environment change. So in this case, the white peppered moths can no longer camouflage against darker colored trees because of the soot. So they will be eaten by the birds. So the white moths can no longer camouflage against the trees, whereas the black moths are not seen. So therefore, the white moths are going to be eaten but the black moths are going to survive. Black moths survive and they breed and they pass on their beneficial alleles to their offspring. So those offspring will then survive. The survivors breed and the survivors are then going to pass on the beneficial alleles to the offspring. Pass on the beneficial alleles to the offspring. So you always end by stating this bit. Survivors breed and pass on the alleles that are beneficial to the offspring. This is natural selection. This is natural selection. The survival of the fittest. These five boxes here are how you answer any exam question on Darwin's theory of natural selection, but you must relate it to the question you are set. Pause the video here to attempt to practice using the keywords. The answers will follow. Pause the video here to go through your answers, make any corrections if you need to, and rewatch the video if you still don't understand. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to answer this extended response question. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer this extended response question. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes.
at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.